You can see me, she be in like my man over here, chilling. And out for okay. two we go, three minute rounds, yes, three rounds me. scheduled in the featherweight division. Your three judges yeah. scoring are Mark Zeccarato, Jack Reese, and Jerry Cantu. When the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Mike Beltran. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the Harley's Bail Bonds Red Corner. He's a freestyle fighter sitting five feet, ten inches tall. Official weight, 145 pounds. His professional record outstanding with six victories, one defeat, and one bout even. Joining us tonight from Corona, California, here is the juggernaut, Richard Schiller! And next is opponent across the ring, fighting out of the Harley's Bail Bonds Blue Corner. His style is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. At 5 feet 8 inches tall, he too weighed in 145 pounds. He brings an outstanding professional record, 14 victories and 6 defeats. Joining us from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, presentando Jair El Guerrero Reyes. Yeah, you're responsible about medical marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Hey, are, we, are we even allowed to say that? I'm just like to all the time. Touch close now. I thought that was Come for greener energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try, I'm trying to get us out of that one. Just in, Ooh, yo. <laughs> just in case. Thank you. Just in case Jamie didn't just put us in a jackpot. <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was good. Yeah, Schiller is, uh, they call him the juggernaut for a reason. Schiller in the black trunks, white lettering, white with a black belt band is Yahir Reyes. And Schiller is, is definitely a very strong and solid athlete. You see him shooting for the takedown. Schiller is a ground technician. He can throw hands, but he's a lot more comfortable and fluid on the ground. And Reyes will be on the defensive if he gets him where he wants him. Looking for the trip now is Schiller, and there he goes. Yo. That is something where, again, against the cage, you would have saw that trip a little bit more smooth. The ropes momentarily held Reyes up. Now elbows from Schiller, working from side. He was very strong in there. Schiller was very strong. No, Schiller's not really muscling, though. Uh, he used technique on that takedown. Very he much. A lot of technique. And my man was, He's very uh, smooth. Yeah, here was a little bit too calm. I think he should have put more into the takedown defense. Yeah, it, I, I agree with that. It looked a little soft on the takedown defense, and Schiller made him pay for it. Now immediately in side control, and now stepping over to Mount, but rolled by Reyes. Smooth move by Reyes to reverse. Schiller was about to start pounding him. So looking for a sweep with the butterfly in there is Reyes, and he does. You can see an example of both these guys being experienced and picking their time to explode and get a better position. Yeah, good chess match on the ground immediately between Shu and Reyes, both guys reversing position. Now a little yeah, ground and pound great. action from Schiller. Schiller is either in half guard or mount. He's in half guard. It says different thing with the ropes. So you, can, you, can, you can put your leg on the ropes, you have extra grip on the cage, you can't do that. That's right. Schiller looking to circle around and get the side control. So far, Reyes denying him that. Get, get elbow to the rib. Sure, about to step through. And try to work that speed. I don't really see Schiller mm. getting through. I think he's content to down here. He's not really looking for guys. Mm. I'd like to see Yahir get on his hip more like how he's working right elbow. now. Elbow, ground and pound. Sure, looking to set up a guillotine with possibly an arm triangle. How about some ground and pound action? He seems really patient though, like he's not just going to get Elbow. Through. Jamie, does it look does it look like the pounding is is, is to look for a TKO ground pound finish or look he's peppering him, set him up? He's peppering him, set him up. set him up. Yep. Um, bodies. Elbows to the body, elbows to the head. That's right. Striking. You've got to set stuff up, otherwise you, you risk turning over the momentum to your opponent. Sure, very intelligent fighter. You don't get the six and one in MMA by making mistakes and not thinking. Yeah, he's trained by some pretty good people, too. Uh, I know Franklin. Franklin's an OG in the sport. Yeah. And, uh, you know, definitely trained official. Ten seconds left in the first round. One round down. Three three-minute rounds. Actually, three five-minute rounds, rather. 145-pound oh, fighters. It's supposed sure. to be five minutes. Oh, that wasn't five minutes. That wasn't five minutes, man. It seemed like a three. You're
watching Pandemonium 2. Riverside Convention Center, Riverside, California. Yakman, Jamie Fletcher, James Lights Out Tony. You're here with the Yak Man, baby. The Yak Man's calling the right tonight, baby. As a boxing fan for several years, to be sitting at a broadcast table and hear James Tony say I'm sitting with the Yak Man, I can retire now. All day, baby, you're having fun. I can you're retire the right now. And the Fletch. I won't retire. But I could. Fletch himself. <laughs> you have fun. Round number two, Schiller, black trunks, wet lettering, black, uh, white rather, with a black waistband and a leaf on it. <laughs> I pointed out specifically for you, Mr. Fletcher. Oh, thank you, sir. Is your hair raised? Close first round, advantage Schiller, possibly with takedowns, some good reversals from both. I think Reyes better get aggressive in this round. That round could have been yes, Look at the eyes of Reyes. He's not going to win back up like that. I'll give him the first round. Reyes' no. eyes could not have been any more wide open than they were if he had 18 cups of coffee and an <laughs> IV drip. You know what, Did you see that? That's when you're supposed to knock somebody out. When their eyes is like that. Yes. That's Iceman. They're looking for the shot. They're looking for it. That's Roger Craig. Uh, they, they, they're waiting for it. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Schiller again, working from the guard of Guerrero Reyes. Ground and pounding quite well. Ray is blocking a lot of those shots, though. He's not really yeah, getting pounded too bad. Ray is in defensive mode right now. He's trying, he's trying to he's trying to use defense. I don't see him count on at nothing. Oh. I don't have a problem with this kind of strategy. He's trying to work for something. But he's not he's working. He's not trying to control or get a sub or anything. Oh, uh, sure. No, uh, Ray. Is. Oh, Ray. Is, yeah, yeah, Ray is. Ray is looking for a, uh, a leg lock. He was close on the middle, but not tight. Two swift greens, what do you think? Unless you're a super good leg locker. And Schiller, being a submission specialist too, knows how to get out. It's gonna kinda of be tough to sub that guy. Yeah. So Schiller's one and only defeat was by submission. It was a rear naked choke. I called that fight. He made one small mistake. Jamie, you know, in mixed martial arts, you make one small mistake, it's a huge loss oh, yeah. in seconds. So Schiller, I think, learned his lesson from that. He's being very patient right now in his approach. Yeah, that'll definitely make you be a little more conservative. No question. When you get that first And James, that's something you've spent an entire career Patience. putting out there. You know what I was going with, absolutely. Patience Breaking the guy down, not making any stupid mistakes. Yeah. Knowing Patience. when and how to close the show. Patience is everything. Like, like I was saying, like I said my man Fletch earlier, when you, rush in, when, you, when, you, when you start a fight, you don't never want to rush into anything. You want to sit your point up all the time. Make him make mistakes. Make him be scared. Reyes very well might be a little bit on the frightened side now. And right now, I'm Schiller just, working from side control. Schiller is doing a great job controlling the whole action from, from, from the beginning to the end. Absolutely. He's the main man right now. And you got to keep doing it. Me and my boys call veterans' disease, where you yeah. get so many fights that you're comfortable, and you feel like you can always pull something out to win. But that's not a good mentality to have. You need to be in there like it's crucial to capitalize yeah. on the opportunities that you have before all of them pass. So, so let me ask you: at, at 14 and 6, he's got 20 fights yes. as a pro. Is that enough experience to suffer from veterans' oh, disease? Man, you know, it, you can suffer from veterans' disease in six fights. Schiller gets them out. <laughs> So ask your doctor if winning is right for you. All right. Well, Absolutely. <laughs> what a commercial. I'm saying dudes get comfortable, man. Yeah, no question. And then they just in there like... Opponents. Yeah. Almost like just doing the like dance. Like a part. Yes. It's like part 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 syndrome. Getting ready for the third and final round. Richard the Juggernaut Schiller. And here we go, fight fans. He says the third and final round. You hear the real Reyes? You got to imagine Reyes is down at least two nothing. Two nothing, but. <laughs> But if you're in Schiller's corner, you can't you, stop that you can't be thinking that you're ahead and then coast. We see what happened earlier. 
Guerrero trying to catch Schiller. Uh -oh. oh, and Schiller smooth right into the mount. Yeah, that was a nice Guerrero transition to the mount. Schiller high in that mount. He's got a, he's got a, a triangle set up possibly. Triangle or arm. the back door. Triangle or arm bar right from there. Schiller very well back set up. Right, and if you're raised, you can be able to come out the back, the back door. door. Absolutely. Let that leg come out, but he'll, I guess he'll know that. Schiller pounding the head. This is in the culinary world, calls tenderizing. Oh, there it is. Oh, arm bar. A little sloppy. You should get that leg over there. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, he's recovering. He should go the other way with it now. Yeah, the rope is preventing him from doing the arm. I'm surprised he tried to pull the arm bar to that side. Uh, he could have got it. That's why. If his right leg had been over his face, he would have locked him up. But to quote jujitsu master Eddie Bravo, it's position before submission, where you very well give up your dominant position. Exactly. Schiller now looking, with, he's got the back of Reyes looking for a rear naked. They choke. Yeah, well, I'm in it, we got up. Hello. Quote, y'all's far naked. If you ain't gonna have position, you better get that shit. All day. <laughs> Stop, there you go. You, you gotta, you gotta hook in. Josh Barnett, not only one of the best heavyweights in mixed martial arts, one of the most colorful personalities, and rear naked choke it is. Richard Show says, game over. That was a good fight. I really feel like Reyes was just too comfortable in that fight. Richard, the juggernaut Schiller. Our commission always got to punch somebody after they win. You know we happy, we fighters. Larry, you just stop all that. Come on, Larry. Richard Schiller celebrating. <laughs> Much to the dismay of the athletic commission, but nonetheless, Larry, kill, Larry, kill me, Larry Irvin. <laughs> sure, we're not going back over to his corner. Rear naked choke victory in the third and final round, and that's what you call an athlete and a finisher, right, James? He fought every second of every round, and he finished, even though he might have been ahead on the scorecard. He still finished and closed the show. Everybody they call him juggernaut. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes one minute, 27 seconds of round number three submission by Rear Naked Choke for your winner, the Juggernaut Richard Schiller! Schiller goes to seven wins and one loss, adding another submission victory. Now that's six submissions of seven wins.